Good evening everyone. I am Gansham Babiskar and I am going to speak on the poem All the World is a Stage. It is a famous poem by William Shakespeare and this is taken from his famous play As You Like It. In this poem the poet talks about the philosophy of life and he compares the world to a stage. According to him, all the men and women are merely characters, they are merely players. And as they are merely players, they perform their roles and when it is time for them to make an exit, they exit. So their lives, the chords of their lives are in the hands of the God who is nothing but the director of their lives. In the first stage of life, we see that the child is born and the child is seen mewling and pucking in the hands of the nurse and we see that baby is crying. The second stage is the stage of a schoolboy, and we see that this boy is complaining all the time. He goes to school with his bag, his face is shining like morning face. But he creeps like a snail and goes to school. The third stage is the stage of lovers. In this stage of life, he is sighing like furnace. That means he is suffering in the agony of love. And he has written a sad song on the beauty of his beloved. Then comes the stage of soldier. In this stage of life, he is full of strange oaths. And it looks like the leopard, full of vigor, strength, and power and energy. But he is jealous in honor. He is very sudden and quick in quarrel. Why? Because he is very disciplined. And when somebody does not follow the rules, yes, he comes in an action and begins the quarrel. Now all the soldiers in our country, they are ready to sacrifice their life. And according to poet, this sacrifice is nothing but the bubble. So all these soldiers, they seek the bubble reputation and for that reputation they are ready to sacrifice their life by standing even before the cannon's mouth. And then comes the next stage of life when we see that there is a change in him. And what is the change in this next stage of life? He has a round belly and he looks like a fat cock. His eyes has gone down and he keeps a beard of formal color. And he is full of voice saws and modern instances. So this is how he plays this part of life. And this is the stage of justice. He is very wise. He has become a wise man. And from this stage, he moves on to the sixth age of life. Now, in this stage of life, he becomes thin. And his pantaloon, that is the trouser, it is so loose that it slips again and again. Now, the vigor and strain that he used to have in the earlier days is no more there, and he needs the spectacle on the nose to see the things. And as he keeps the things forgetting, he needs a pouch on his side. So, whatever things he needs in this stage of life, he gets. Now, he is entering the stage. Why? Because it is the law of nature that we become old. And in this old age, the hands shake, the legs shake. And what happens to the big man Levi's? It turns into trebles, pipes, and whistles in the sun. So in this stage of life, he is without teeth. So it is difficult for him 
to speak and when he speaks the whistling sound comes out and now he is moving on in the journey of his life and enters the last stage of life that is very memorable because why this is memorable because in this stage of life he remembers the things that he had done from the day of his birth and this is the second childishness and he keeps things forgetting in this stage of life he is without teeth without eyes, without taste, and without everything. So, we experience that when the child is born, all the family members are there to support, to take care of the child. But in old age, yes, old people are neglected. When he came into the world, his parents supported him. But now, when he becomes old and he is without everything, there is nobody to support him. So he needs a stick in the stage of life. The stick, I mean the support of all the family members. So this is a very wonderful poem in which the poet talks about the different phases of life that we all go through. So this is all about the poem All the World is a Stage by William Shakespeare. So thank you, thank you very much.